Hey everyone, good afternoon. So today is Kira Bailey's big um, unboxing day. Just picked her up today from the American Girl store in Charlotte, North Carolina. And now Emma's gonna show everybody what's in Kira's collection and maybe a little bit about Kira herself. And then today they also, they might get these out on January 2nd too and will they like have them? But this is when you go to the store, you get like a special release item. knapsack item, yeah. Very cute, like a little um, satchel side bag. Yeah, they do this every year, like one year. I remember Luciana, she had a um, t-shirt, which I have somewhere. And then um, when, when like Gabriella came out, they gave out like a craft, so. Okay. Taking out the doll. There she is, Kira, in her cute, very, very cute me outfit. I think, <clears throat> even though some people say she looks like Julie, I think she's definitely got a different, whole different vibe to her because her clothing is so different and, you know, learning about her personality is really different too. And Emma noticed she came with a little choker necklace that's it's, actually in the box. It's actually a um, bracelet. Oh, a bracelet. So is it for you or for her? It's for her. It's like... Oh, it's twist. like a wrap around. Yeah, when we put it on, I will. Um, and then here's her book. You can also buy this um separately, too. And then this one's uh the second one. So these are her two books. The Down Under is Animal Rescue. And then I re I already read this one. It's really good. Um, and so okay, some interesting things about Kira. So I picked up on like random little things throughout this story. Okay, so. Kira actually, her dad died, so she doesn't have a dad in her story. It's just her and her mom. She's an only child, too. Her um, aunts are both uh, women who are married, which is a really interesting thing because I haven't seen American Girl do something like that before, but it's nice that they're implementing that into the storyline. Yeah, that's cool. And she also lives in the COVID world, so... In her book, they're actually, um, when they're traveling on the plane to Australia, they're wearing masks, and they're, and she um, briefly mentions coronavirus when she's talking about um, her trip because her um, Australia trip actually was supposed to happen this past year um, in the book, but because we can't travel right now, um, they delayed it until this year. So Very cool. A little like interesting thing that I picked up on in there. with all her film things on. Cute, I love that it says the little short skirt bottoms and I like the colors of the um, me outfit too. All the earth tones. So right out of the box, I really like her. Um, her top, I these things kind of annoy me because of the way they like look like this like um Tenny had a shirt like this and it bugs me when it like does that but it's really cute it's like tie-dye and these little um stitches right here they're like they're like actual like stitching so I hope they don't like come loose yeah. because um they're but they're really cute and her um bottom piece it is like a it's like a skirt so it's got the skirt and then it like has the shorts underneath and then her boots these are all like actual um, laces, so you can untie these. I really don't want to though, because they it's kind of hard to make them look nice again. And then it definitely looks like she has like separate socks, but when we like take off her um, outfit to put her in some of the other ones later, probably we'll um, like see them. Okay, and then um, actually before I take her hair out, um, a lot of people said that this doll, um, like you said, looks like Julie, but she also looks like Blair. So her and Blair have the um, exact same face mold, and she does have the same face mold as Julie, too. She does have a different color of um, eyes, but she also has like the same eye color as Blair. So 
here's Blair, so you can kind of see like this is how similar they are in skin tone. Like they're it's definitely different though. It's different because I mean their hair is completely different. Yeah. But it's kind of weird because when I when I like line up all my girl of the year dolls, it's gonna be like Blair and then Joss, and then it's gonna be like, well, because it's like the same doll kind of. Um, but they're I think they're different enough. And then here's what she looks like next to Julie. Still, I mean, they could be cousins or sisters or something, mm -hmm. I definitely think. Also, Julie has um, lined eyebrows because she's um, been around for a lot longer. What about eye color? Are those the same or different? Uh, no, Julie has brown, brown eyes. eyes. Okay. And then her hair, Julie's hair is also straight, mm -hmm. but Kira's is actually like this. Wavy. Wavy. And then, speaking of red hair, I'm going to take the hair net off now so we can look at it. So here's what she looks like with the hairnet down and her hair is it's not like um we see the back of her when yeah. I turn her around. It's not like it's like definitely very wavy. It's not like um I was expecting that there to be like curls, you know, where you like mm -hmm. twist them, but you can probably do that. But no, it's just like wavy. So if you when you're brushing it, you don't have to be like concerned about um taking out the curl because it'll like um just kind of like it's very shiny yeah it's very it's very shiny i noticed that on the picture of the box and then she's just got this little hairstyle and this is probably one of the like the most simple hairstyles on the planet of dolls so don't be like if you're going to take this out like don't be too concerned about putting it back in because it's really easy to do like all you do is just take the two pieces and twist them and then tie it with a hair knot and then she has um a middle part too, which is nice. So when whenever you're doing hairstyles like that, um, it's like even. Uh, she doesn't have like her own earring set. They only did that for like three dolls where they gave them their own earring set, which was a bummer because I really liked the earrings. So she doesn't have pierced ears or anything like that. Um, and I will maybe I'll like line up brush kind of like play with it. I'm still not sure if I'm gonna take this out or not, but I don't. I am going to right now maybe if it gets messed up okay so the next thing are her accessories she has two accessories but these are the ones you get if you want to get like the doll and just her accessories and then you can get like a little discount if you buy these ones so I'm gonna open it up actually oh wait forgot her little bracelet So it's like, I hope these don't fall off. Like there's like little gems on them and then it's like leather. So it doesn't matter which hand it goes on, but you just wrap it like this and then you just, there's like this little um, hole on one end and then it just goes on like over this little not sure if this bracelet is like has like any sort of like significance because they didn't mention anything about her having like a friendship bracelet or something but so there's what it looks like on her cute and i guess it could be a necklace too because it's long enough to mm -hmm. be one so so, so the hat it's like i think it's felt it's felt it's yeah it's definitely felt but like it's like it doesn't it's not like as like dirty like you can bend it like yeah. this like some of the other ones are kind of more um it doesn't look like you can do that so yeah it's definitely not as sturdy as the other ones and then it's got a little bow on the side too um i'm sure i put this on her without like messing up her hair and then i always like the backpacks here's her um but it's got, it's like 
Almost like a lunch cooler, kind yeah. of. Yeah, it's like a hiking backpack, mm -hmm. but it's got like all these like pockets and things you can put stuff in there. Um, the front opens too, it's just like Velcro. And then the top opens and you could probably stuff this thing pretty full of like little things. And it's just on the inside kind of like squash and you can like adjust these um straps too so that way you can have them. um i'm not gonna put it on her because she's on the stand and then oh and then it comes with a little koala keychain for the backpack and i think this is like one of the first things i ever saw let's see that she's doll. on that cute so it just clips on to the back um, I think on the zipper holes, if you want to. They don't have holes. Mm. I think it goes like on. I'm just pretty sure it's supposed to go on like this little part right here. There we go. There. Like that. And then it comes with these little pictures. Are oh. they postcards? Yeah, they're. Well, these ones are pictures mm -hmm. and these ones are postcards. Uh, okay, because it's not going back in there. Okay. Okay, so this one says Australia on it, and it's got pictures of, like, some of the animals and, like, locations. And then this one says Explore Australia, and it's got, like, just some more, like, cartoonized versions on it. and they are um there's writing on the back this one says dear lila that's her uh friend by the way mm -hmm. um it says it also says it's january 2021 it says we just arrived in australia and i've already seen a bazillion kangaroos wish you were here kira and by the way kira when in the united states lives in michigan so the address is to michigan and then this one says Hi, Lila. I got to hold and feed a tiny koala, Joey, today. She was so cute. Miss you, Kira. So that's what those ones say. And then these ones are pictures. Okay, so this one is obviously of a koala. And then this one is um, kangaroos. Very cute. And you could probably like mess around and do like some stuff with uh, these things. Okay, and then now I'm going to open her outdoor accessories. So that her other um, set of other set of accessories. So here they are. So this is the. Um, jacket the scarf and the sunglasses i thought this was one of the best yeah the best things in her collection i was a little, little confused kit. at first when um it was first coming out or i saw like the pictures in the catalog because i couldn't tell if it was like one accessory set or i didn't realize there were two different ones at first so but there are two different ones so here are the sunglasses. Actually, I have a pair of sunglasses that look just like this. They're just a little bit lighter. <laughs> Here they are. So they're like a nice tortoise shell. Yeah, just like, I don't wanna scratch her face. Baby, come on. Get it in there. Okay, they don't really wanna go on for some reason. <laughs> Probably have to get them under the hair just right. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Um, and then we have the jacket, so I'm gonna take her off her stand. Bounce, please don't fall over. Okay. So the jacket is it's kind of like heavy. Um, it's got little pockets. They don't, uh, uh, these ones are sort of functioning. 
and then it's got like this little flower stitching on it that might kind of like be her little logo because girl beer dolls tend to have that and then it's got this cute pattern and then it has a zipper on it I'm not sure if these strings like pull no they don't but so let's put this on her I'm gonna take this off because it's kind of so here's what she looks like with the jacket very cute and then here's a little scarf I have oh I guess you pull just pull it like, over her head yeah, yeah it's oh got, it has a clasp it okay, has perfect. velcro on the back and yeah. then I think what the purpose of that is it's like um a gator it's twisted in the front where she can use it as a bandana, but it's also a mask. Do you think that's what it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be like um, an actual mask or yeah, something? Yeah, it's like a gator. So it's the kind you wear around your neck until you need it, and then you pull it up around your mouth. Oh my God, it totally yeah. is. Okay, I was kind of hoping that she'd have something like that, only because yeah. I just feel... <laughs> now, she may not be using it for COVID purposes. She may have had it for... The smoke being in the wildfire, or, or you know, they didn't call them wildfires, they call them bushfires. Bush yeah, I mean, so yeah, but yeah, if you want to keep point her towards us, there aren't any bushfires in her book. <laughs> um, but they did have um, uh, COVID and stuff. I haven't like had a chance to read the second one, and it mentioned something about bushfires, on okay? There. So, um, it could be for that reason. I don't know, I just can't take a um, a American Girl doll that is going through the struggles of 2020, 2021, seriously. So, but it, it it's is relatable. Actually, it is actually really cute. So, it just goes goes like that. And then let's go ahead and just put the backpack on since she's off her stand. I might have to like mess around with. So now she's kind of got, so she's got all, all her little accessories on. Uh, she's ready to go. <laughs> she is definitely ready to rescue some animals. Oh. It's just, it's just the, um, koala. And he does have a name. I don't know if, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be that exact koala. But the koala in her story's name is Bean. Bean? Yep, just Bean. <laughs> is like really like this big so he's very fluffy and he's just stiff he doesn't um like um move like some of the other animals do most of the girl beer pets like they're just kind of stiff but um he's very soft and then he has beady eyes very cute hello bean welcome and he probably fits in like he might, I don't know if he'll fit in that carrier or not. Um, but I was kind of hoping he would be able to have, like, the thing that Leah had on her animals where they can, um, like, attach to them. Mm. So, but I guess she can kind of, like, carry him in her first outfit. outfit. And this is her comfy camping outfit. So she only has, like, she only has three, like, actual outfits and then she has a pair of pajamas, but... Sometime later this year, they should release one more outfit for her. So this is kind of like a romper, so it's a one piece. Yeah, it's a one piece, and then it has a separate top for underneath. T-shirt. Trying to like be gentle with the boxes. Here's the romper. It's like very um, loose is the term. So it's like loose, probably loose fitting. I don't mm -hmm. know. We'll try it on. And then it's just got this um, plain yellow t-shirt. And then a head, headband. 
Oh, what's going on? Like a twisted one for maybe for the style. You just kind of like twist like that and then the pair of sandals. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on her and now. Since I don't know who wants to know this, but I like to know this. For her underwear color, she just has um, this light pink, which seems to just be what they've been doing from this point forward because the past like three girl beers have had this color and her tag because this is also weird stuff i like to know her tag says uh 2017 on it which means she was trademarked in that year so they've had kind of had her like planned for a while or had her name laying around for a while so here's what um her body looks like and obviously she doesn't have neck strings since they don't do that anymore um there's a uh, zip but uh, actually a zip tie underneath. I've never tried removing a doll's head with that before, so I don't really know how that goes. All right, I'm gonna put the outfit on right, now. So here's what she looks like with this outfit on, and I think that, yeah, it's like not meant to be worn with the hairstyle in, so this thing is probably going to get messed up pretty quickly. But it's easy to get on um, with the shirt on because um, last year during Jotha's thing they had an outfit similar to this and it's kind of hard to get the outfit on over the shirt but in this the case for this one it's easy to get um, on and off and then again it's got this nice like this is all stitched on there so hopefully it won't come undone nor will this this looks like it's like glued in there and then the shoes oops one of her her ankles or her heels kind of hang out the back of them a little bit but they're like leathery and um, they just have the strap on the back and, um, and then they're just like the platform of them is just rubber and then the headband, it's like this, they're like these linked loops here. So it's kind of like confused, I was kind of confused when I first opened it, but it looks really cute and it kind of like represents both colors on the outfit. And then the next thing I'm gonna open up is her pajamas. So here's the best part. Little <laughs> koala slippers. And then we have the shirt. And it's kind of like a, um, like they just like stuck the picture on there. Like an iron on. Yeah. And then here's the pants. Those are cute, and the colors are really cute, like a mint, a really soft minty green. And then, unfortunately, this was the only outfit they made for girls to wear. They didn't actually make the meat outfit for girls to wear, which is the first time in, like, I don't know, 18 years that they haven't done that. Literally Here's 18 her years. pajamas. These koala slippers don't have, like, any sort of, um, like, base or anything. They're, like, just fabric, <laughs> so. Just slippers. Yeah, they're just slippers she probably bought them at like walmart or something <laughs> <laughs> um but it is really cute it's probably pretty comfortable to sleep in that's kind of all that matters uh, so here's her leggings and then this is just like a tie and it can't come undone so and then t-shirt is this tealy color and it'd probably look cute with the braids that she wears and went on like all the catalogs and stuff but I'm not gonna do that right now so this is her pajama outfit and then the last outfit that she has right now is this is her casual outfit so we're gonna open this up and this comes with a few various accessories Here's the pink top, or like, it's like a vest. It's just like the one Kenny had a few years ago. And then here's the skirt. It's a very um, thin material. 
Well, it's supposed to probably be cool since she's somewhere that's so hot. Yeah. And then it's got the little t-shirt. I like this part the best. I think this would actually look really cute without the outfit. So you can kind of like zoom in and look at all the little pictures Three. on it. And then the sandals, they're like platforms. And then it's got the headband. Here's this outfit. I think this is probably my favorite. Like one besides her meat outfit. Like this is probably like... Um, but it's really cute. So the headband just goes over the thing. Once again, it's probably not meant to be worn with the hairstyle. So if you take it out, it'll be easier to put on. Um, and then these, to put these on, you should, you can just remove the Velcro and it snaps back on. And then these, if they stay down, make it look as like bulky there. And then, like I said, this does um, button up the pockets on it. Don't function. Um, and then the skirt, I like the skirt the best pull it down a little bit so so that's oh, like cool yeah so those are all her um, outfits that she has and uh, the last thing that we're opening up is this is her wildlife rescue set so now she did have a big like a clinic yeah. Um, that was available that had like a way station and some of like the medical equipment that she might use or the vet equipment that she might use. Okay, so first piece here we have the little wombat and once again he's kind of just he's just like stiff but he feels just like the koala and he's got beady eyes and then paws and then here is a little walkie-talkie, and I think it clips to her belt. It doesn't, like, make any noise or anything. It's got her name on it, too. Oh, that's really cute. So, none of the... It's all, like, just stationary, but it does clip... I think it's, it's meant to go with this outfit or whatever outfit she's wearing, so... Try to... Put that on there there we go it's pretty easy to stick on there so and then it comes with some binoculars and when I first saw these binoculars they just instantly reminded me of another pair of Barbie binoculars <laughs> and then it's just got handles on the side no they don't work <laughs> it's got handles on the side so she can hold them so Here's like a little close-up of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, see the handles on the side, so her hand can go right in. Perfect. So hold that and then go like that. And then here is some more pieces. So there's a this is a blanket in here. It's very soft. So here's the blanket. You can just cover up the animals with it. I'm going to fold it back up. And then there is a little um, bandage in case someone broke their foot. Mm -hmm. Oh, like an ace bandage okay. to wrap. Okay. Like this. Oh, and it's got Velcro so you can kind of like, I'm just going to put it on the doll. But you can kind of like adjust yeah. it like oh, that. that's nice. Depending on the size. I don't really think it works on the animal. I actually think the pictures but. on the box um, in the store had it wrapped on a kangaroo on the Joey. It might fit on... Or on Bean. It was on somebody. Yeah, it might fit on him here. Let's see. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, because I was going to say I saw it on somebody's arm. Now it's not sticking on there. Come on. So it will go, it fits on the koala, but it doesn't kind of go on the wombat very much. Okay. And then we have the bigger item that it comes with. Here's the other still warmer in there. So this is the crate. 
and it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. A lot of these pieces are. I guess the display like, is kind of deceiving. and the bottom piece don't come off but this opens and you can just put the little wampa in there kind of a tight mm -hmm. fit but he goes makes him feel nice and safe and secure in there yeah. okay, buddy. and it's like i want to say tin plastic so but it's sturdy and i guess the doll could carry it like i mean sort of but and then This is the little wagon for it. So it's blue and as plastic as per usual. Um, and then the crate, you just stick it on like that and it fits in there perfectly. And you can of course multi-purpose this wagon. Mm -hmm. um, and then it just wheels like that. And then she can hold it, like she can hold it somehow. Eh, might be kind of an like, <laughs> awkward, but she can kind of, she can pretend to right, hold it. She is Kira Bailey, 2021. At least she doesn't have to be associated with 2020, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> sort, sort of. of though. Yeah, sort of. But maybe her story will be focusing on helping the animals instead of the trials and tribulations of 2020. All right, nice to meet you, Kira. Welcome. <laughs> 